All right, so here's the setup. So we're gonna go from the left to the right and go over everything. So uh, yeah, starting over here, we have a 2009 uh, diecast Formula One car. So I've had this thing for a while and uh, I love models in my gaming setup because it just adds a lot and uh, without them it just looks kind of bland. Um, so next up, um, we have my speakers. So these are the, let me get it here. These are the KRK V4 speakers. Um, I have one over here. A, the subwoofer is down here and the uh, other one is over here so two speakers one subwoofer and uh, I have this little ball here that I made this little like uh, Chinese thing that I made a long time ago and uh, looks pretty cool so next up we have this little um, ah, I forgot these called Karen's I have a little Karen here so it's held up by a uh, pole so in inside each rock is in the pole you get the point so uh, this is really nice. Uh, so down here, moving down to my shelf. This is my favorite shelf. I love this. This is where I have all my cars in here. Because um, I'm a big motorsport fan. So here I have a BMW. Um, I'm not sure what year this is from, but this is a BMW. Um, in here I have a Mercedes Benz. Not sure. Um, here there's a Ferrari 48, I believe. Uh, a Corvette and a Enzo Ferrari down there and there is a Lamborghini inside there but I put it in my room because the huge subwoofer is blocking it. So um, next up I have this little candle holder and uh, it's like a little house whatever it just looks really nice. Um, so yeah the cable management isn't the best I know but uh, for now it gets the job done. So uh, yeah that's the shelf. So moving on to the middle. So here uh, we have a we have a Viso 1080p TV screen. It's small, but I like small because you don't have to move your eyes a lot when you're looking around. But small, it does have speakers, we don't use them. And uh, just look at the back here, just wood to mount it onto the wall. And next up we have the Beast here. This is the open wheeler um, simulator seat. And what I like about this is that um, I can not only use it for racing, but all I have to do is this seat moves back and forth. Little lever there, the steering wheel. This is a Thrustmasters T150 steering wheel for the PlayStation. Um, and this works PS3 and the PlayStation 4. And honestly, this is just beautiful steering wheel. So raise this up um, and vice versa. You can move this back and it's so versatile. And you have the pedals down here, cables running down. But uh, this chair is so comfortable compared to what I was using before. I was using a cheap old office chair, and this is quite new. Got this like maybe uh, four months ago. And um, what it's mounted on is, as you can see here, it has no mount. It has no legs, so it's if you'd put it on the floor, it'll just be flat on the floor. So I'll show you this in a minute. But this seat is just amazing. Um, all these little knobs, you can adjust this. You can move it forward, back, as wheels. Um, it also has a stand for a shifter, but I don't own one. But um, yeah, and this steering wheel is just a really good steering wheel. Um, I had an old one before, and this one's just my favorite steering wheel. So now what it's mounted on, so as you can see here, it is mounted on um, this platform that my dad built. So underneath here, you have some boxes with some wheels and a bracket. So bracket there, and same thing on this side. And it's just mounted on there. Um, and I could take it off and move this out of the way and use a chair or something. Um, so yeah, this is the open wheeler seat. I love this seat, just really good. Moving on to the right, this is where everything just, uh, this is everything that powers it. So up here, um, if you didn't see my last video, this is my Flux Bluetooth light and I can change it to any color I want. So whatever suits my needs. So moving down here, um, these are the Senti Arches gaming headphones. Um, I'm due for an upgrade because these are, they're all right. But for now, they're really good. They're a bit bulky, but uh, they have lights here and it has virtual surround sound and a vibration, which is really nice. And uh, here's the other speaker. Here is a, just a rock, I guess. Every little decoration counts in my opinion. Just makes everything come to life. And here, Right here is my favorite Pokemon card. I'm a fan of Pokemon, so my favorite card, this is a Cyndaquil. 
I know it's not the best card, but it's just my favorite Pokemon out of all the generations. I love Cyndaquil. So I have that card there. Um, moving on to the right, this is the beast that powers everything. This is a PlayStation 4. Um, this is the console that I use. And here I have a Batmobile. Focus. This is a Batmobile that I got. So this Batmobile is really cool. The windows, this lifts up. So this opens up and you have pretty detailed on the inside. Just have some two uh, seats on the side there. So yeah, and uh, this is the Star Wars Battlefront PlayStation. So that's why the other side isn't shiny. And um, oh, the headphone stand. This is a custom made headphone stand that I made by myself. So I got some wood. You can see here it's not, it works. Spray painted it. I uh, got a place to hold the cable in there. And uh, back there, it's HDMI and power cable. So yeah, this is the PlayStation and the headphones and everything. So in here, um, I have my controllers. So here's a regular PlayStation controller. Um, so yeah, we have that one. And I also have a white PlayStation controller with these. These are some grips. Um, for first-person shooters, they work really good. Would recommend to anyone who plays first-person shooters has more accuracy because the more you move it, the more sensitive it is. So yeah, so this right here is a charging dock. Now, it has two USBs on the bottom and you plug it into the PlayStation, but the USBs, so now you're using up those USBs and it's on the back and you always have to go to the back. So I put it here and I took a Apple a Apple USB and I plugged it into the back of here and that cable goes down into a port so now this thing you mount this you put this on the controller that little dock there and so what you do is you put it on here and uh, it's charging the controller now without you having to plug it in so cool here is the remote for the TV just a Viso remote nothing special um, Put those back in there. All right, so moving on here. This is another display prop that I have. So this is so cool. I love this thing. So I love Star Wars and um, I had to pick up one of these. This thing looks really good. It is the Star Wars Sith book. And what makes it special is that the book is so cool. It's like a, you know, has it's like an old book, but it comes inside this pyramid thing. And when you press the button, just watch this. So when you press the button, the whole book comes out and um, it just adds really nice stuff and this book is just an awesome book. Um, the material is good and has a, uh, you know, just really cool and just looks so ancient. So yeah, that is that. I uh, love this thing. So let's move down. So here I have a bin in here. And this bin has... Uh, okay, I need to turn on the light. It's pitch black in here. I turned on the regular light because it got really dark in here. So in this bin, I have a bunch of stuff in here. So here I have some gloves. So these are the gloves that I use when I race. Sometimes my hands get... Uh, if my hands start hurting if I'm racing for a long time. Some more gloves, honestly, just for racing. Um, and in here, we also have some more hand grips, some more like finger grips for the controllers. So these don't give you any accuracy, just makes them, just makes the controller more grippy because the material is different. Um, I have some tools from the open wheeler kit. So some more knobs for the shifter and just cables and things like that inside there. So that's this. All right, moving down, I have my games. So if you don't know, most of my games, like almost all of my games are on the system. I don't have a lot of discs, but I do have two discs. I have Overwatch, love this game, and Destiny. So my two only disc games, I had more, but I sold them. But I have other games on my uh, PlayStation. They're just not disc 
and uh, moving down here we have some more cars that said these cars are like uh, smaller scale so we have some more cars back here you know Porsches different cars back here and moving down here we have my power supply which that's oh, this out of the way this is some RC controllers and then here this is the this is another power supply and this cable goes up and around to charge for my uh, dock and then down here cables bunch of cables it's not interesting so yeah just a bunch of cables back here and uh, yeah I think that wraps it up so yeah I believe that just wraps it up for my gaming setup so this is mostly a racing simulator setup but um, it can be used for a regular PlayStation gaming setup so um, yeah this setup is just I love this setup it took me so long to build I do have a regular PC gaming setup so if this video if, if this video hits five likes I will do a video on my PC gaming setup but so yeah this is my racing simulator setup so uh, yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video guys bye bye